Hi guys and welcome. Today in this video we're going to talk about the cloud storages and the project that we're reviewing today is really veteran in the industry and this is probably one of the most known in the whole world. So jump into this review to find out all the pros and cons of a fantastic tool that called Dropbox. Hello everyone and welcome to our informative review. Today I will tell you about a very reliable and useful service, which is very pleasant and reliable to use. Let's start right now. Dropbox is a simple, reliable file syncing and storage service with enhanced collaboration features, but it's more expensive and less integrated than other platform offerings like Google Drive, iCloud, and OneDrive. Dropbox, a pioneer among cloud storage and syncing services, offers sync desktop folders for anywhere access. Though it's comparatively pricey, unique tools like its paper, showcase, and hello sign digital signature features distinguish Dropbox. Despite those benefits, PC Mac editors' choices, Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive, beat it out for value. OS integration and online editing, which we judge to be more important than Dropbox extras. In general, with cloud services available directly from within Apple, Google, and Microsoft platforms, we're skeptical about the need for third-party cloud storage, since the built-in options are so simple to use and tightly integrated into the operating systems. Dropbox is still an excellent choice for online storage, however, especially for those who'd rather not put all of their data eggs into the dominant tech players' baskets. The company is continually adding new services. Recently announced features in private beta include a password management service called Dropbox Passwords, the pin-protected Dropbox Vault, and HelloSign digital signatures. A limited computer backup feature is available as a beta release for all users, and a family plan with 2 gigabytes sharing among 6 users has been announced, but pricing isn't yet available. We'll update this review as the features become available to all users. All the Dropbox apps are free to download, and there are plenty of them. But storage is limited if you don't pay. The free basic account starts you out with a meager 2 gigabytes, and you won't find it in Dropbox site unless you get there via a specific web search or navigate directly to dropbox.com basic. You can earn more space through referrals, which is an additional 500 megabytes for every friend who joins up, and up to 16 gigabytes in other actions, such as contributing to the user forum. By comparison, several other file syncing and storage programs give you much more than 2 gigabytes to start. For example, Box gives you 10 gigabytes free, five times as much as Dropbox. For those who need more than the free account offers, Dropbox has two account levels for individuals and two for businesses. The Plus account costs $11.99 per month or $119.88 per year, which gets you two terabytes of storage. Plus, also adds offline file access, remote device wipe, smart sync like OneDrive files on demand, and priority email support. The next level up, professional, is $19.99 per month or $199 per year, and it gets you 3 terabytes. Smart sync like OneDrive file on demand and a showcast feature present and track your work, shared link controls, full text search, watermarking, and a 120-day version history and a live chat support as well. For comparison, SugarSync has $9.99 per month plan too, but it also gives you 20 or 250 gigabytes of space. For the most bang of your buck storage-wise, iDrive offers a truly whopping 5 terabyte for just $69.50 per year. Microsoft's OneDrive's one terabyte account goes for just $6.99 per month or $69.99 per year. But that also gets you a subscription to installable and online Microsoft 365 programs and a $100 a year OneDrive family account gives six users each, one terabyte along with the Office apps. Google Drive's two terabyte account is $9.99 per month, the same price as Apple iCloud. As mentioned, you get more free space, 10 gigabytes with Box. Be aware. However, that box limits uploaded files to 250 megabytes each for non-paying members. For $10 a month, you can increase your box storage allotment to 100 gigabytes, and $15 a month business box plan gets you unlimited storage. Both paid account levels increase the maximum file upload size to 5 gigabytes, still smaller than Dropbox. In terms of free accounts, 
OneDrive offers 5 gigabytes of free space for US users, which is more than double Dropbox offering. Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes to start, but the math gets tricky with Google Drive. That 15 gigabytes is spread across Google Drive, Gmail, including spam, and Google Photos, so you might eat up the space quickly. Not all files count against your limit, however. Anything you created with Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides, what most people call Google Docs, doesn't count. Photos don't count if you choose high quality, which tops out at about 16 megapixels, rather than original quality. See Google's help page on drive storage limits for even more confusing details. With Dropbox, there is no full file size limit for files uploaded via the desktop application or mobile apps, provided your account has enough room. Files uploaded via the website, however, are capped at 50 gigabytes. The price for business Dropbox accounts varies based on the number of employees. Pricing starts at $15 per month per user, with a, max, with a minimum of three users and business accounts include a lot of additional features and services, such as multiple team management and audit log, and granular sharing permissions. Supported apps and compatibility. Dropbox has been on file syncing and storage games for years, and in maturity troves. There are Dropbox apps for Windows, Mac, Linux, iPhone, iPad, Android, Kindle Fire, Blackberry, and Windows tablets as UWP store app. In a pinch, there's a web app that works well too. When installed on a laptop or desktop computer, Dropbox works almost invisibly, appearing and working like a part of your operating system than a separate app. It looks different from other cloud syncing services such as SugarSync, which has a complete app interface even on the desktop. But OneDrive, iCloud, and Google Drive blend with the operating system even more tightly. One huge perk to using Dropbox is that it integrates with practically every other app and web service out there. Say you have a mobile email client that can integrate with cloud storage services. Dropbox is almost definitely going to be among them. Dropbox is also a supported app on IFTTT and Zapier. Compatibility with other services is rarely a problem for Dropbox users. So, how to get Dropbox and the basics. Dropbox is available as a download for desktop installation from the company's website and for mobile devices from their respective app stores. The site makes it easy for new users to install Dropbox, detecting their operating system and automatically suggesting the right program. When you download and install the client, you create a Dropbox account or sign into an existing one. You can sign in with Apple or Google sign-in services or use your own email and password. Next, the program creates a folder on your computer called Dropbox. You can choose where to install it or you can accept the default location. You can always move it later. Once the installation finishes, an icon appears on the top menu bar in Mac or system tray in Windows that lets you open your Dropbox folder with just one click. From this same icon, you can also reach your preference and settings to adjust. For example, the folder's location or upload and download speeds. Soon after installation, a message appears in the tray icon pop-up told us we had to reinstall Dropbox to fi fix its syncing icons. To use Dropbox, you simply put files in the Dropbox folder and leave them there. Everything else is automatic. Like most other file syncing and storage services, Dropbox automatically syncs your files everywhere, so they're available on internet-connected machines where you've installed Dropbox or that it has a web browser. Files you save at home automatically show up on your office computer. Photos you upload from your Dropbox iPhone app shows up on your laptop at home, and so forth. Unfortunately, if you don't want Dropbox to take up space on your computer's local hard drive, you have to spring for a professional paid account. The online only option thus afforded shows files stored in the cloud, downloading them only when you try to open them. OneDrive's files on demand option does this for all accounts and Google File Stream does it for G Suite, but not personal Google Drive accounts. Dropbox does let you select folders in that you don't want synced locally, but the file names won't be visible on your desktop Dropbox folder. Backup. Though file syncing services are not the same as online backup services like OneDrive, Dropbox can backup a few folders that don't live inside the service master folder. Documents, Desktop, and Downloads OneDrive's backups option adds pictures to those. Note that if you've already using another service to backup these folders, the Dropbox setup for backing them up will fail. 
As you can see above, the feature is embedded currently. Once you set it up, you can use the folder normally and any files stored in them will be available on the web and in mobile apps. <laughs> if you delete files from your Dropbox folder on your computer, they will also be deleted from all other devices which you have Dropbox installed from your online Dropbox account. iDrive and SOS Online Backup keep locally deleted files in the cloud forever in what's called archiving, just in case you deleted them by accident. Dropbox does offer a sort of grace period according to its documentation. Quote, if you have a Dropbox basic, free, or plus account, you can recover any file or folder deleted in the last 30 days. If you have a Dropbox professional or business account, you have 180 days to recover deleted files, end quote. Security and privacy. Dropbox uses standard SSL TLS for transferring files and data at rest is encrypted using 256-bit advanced encryption standard AES. You can choose two-factor authentication using either SMS text messages or an authenticator app like Microsoft Authenticator. Quote, like most major online services, we have a small number of employees who must be able to access user data when legally required to do so. That's the exception, not the rule. We have strict policy and technical access controls that prohibit employee access except in these rare circumstances. In addition, we use a number of physical and electronic security measures to protect user information from unauthorized access." End quote. The company's privacy policy explicitly states that it won't sell your information to advertisers or other third parties. Dropbox is based in the US and complies with the Department of Commerce Private Shield framework, which guarantees a level of data privacy protection. Dropbox collaboration. Dropbox offers a few ways to share files with others and collaborate. The newest is a suite of collaboration tools collectively known as Dropbox Paper. It's somewhat reminiscent of the disastrous Google Way project of several years ago, free from documents that grow unwieldy and disorganized as collaborators, all chimed in. Luckily, Dropbox Paper is far more elegantly implemented than it was. From right within Dropbox Web App, you can create new paper documents to which collaborators can add videos, images, tables, as well as emojis and stickers. Dropbox Paper is only available in a web browser and in its own mobile apps. You won't, however, see your paper doc in the Dropbox folder on your computer, but a link from the system icon has a link to open paper in your browser. It includes commenting tools nearly everywhere, and nearly all its features can be used collaboratively just by adding an at symbol and the name of the collaborator in question. For example, there's a to-do list option that lets you jot down tasks you need to complete or tasks for a group of people, where you use at name to make the assignments clear. Digital signing with HelloSign. Dropbox now lets you attach secure digital signatures. I can see this feature being especially useful for law offices, among other businesses, and if you're sharing documents with Dropbox, having the capability built in makes a lot of sense. A limited use of HelloSign requires a separate subscription, $13 per month, but I was able to use the integrated service in a free Dropbox account without such a subscription. A Dropbox account contact informed me that all users can get three signatures per month for free, which is perfect for the amount I use them. Sharing. The other, more basic way to collaborate in Dropbox is to fair shares. The service discontinues support for public folders, which is used to be automatically created and set up. Now you have to share files and folders to specific contacts. You can share any file or folder in Dropbox. Just tap the share button next to the folder or file. You get choices of can edit and can view, but only Dropbox professional and business users get sharing options like restricting link access to specified users, link expiration, and password protection. OneDrive does all of this for free. Simple syncing with a dash of collaboration. Veteran online file syncing services Dropbox offers easy setup along with a deep feature set and seemingly endless web service integrations. It's lightweight paper collaboration, showcase tool for web presentation, and HelloSign digital signatures distinguish the cloud syncing service.